Assalamu alaikum. It feels really good to be here with you today. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? Good? Good? Would you please stand up? Thank you. So tell me, is it possible to continue the talk like this? I mean, without the chairs. Yes, it's possible. Maybe not that comfortable, but not impossible, right? Okay, great. You may sit down and enjoy your chairs. Now, is it possible for me to go downstairs? I mean, to continue the talk without the stage. Is it possible? Yes. It's possible, yes. What about the microphone? Nope. If I remove it and I try to speak louder than that? It's possible to continue the talk like this? Yes. Now, is it possible to continue the talk without the audience and the speaker? No. This is the only impossible thing. Why? Because humans are the most important factor in this event. It's the pillar of this event. Not just this event, in all other events, in every situation, in every project, it's all about humans. When we talk about peace, it's all about humans. When we talk about war, it's all about humans. When we talk about the future, it's all about humans. Humans are the key for tomorrow, for a better tomorrow, or for a for worse one. So now, how do we activate this option of um, making humans the key for a better tomorrow? How do we activate that? Preparing, yes. Building the adults of tomorrow. And how do we build them? How do we prepare them? And when do we start? Because it's a long journey. It's a life journey, actually. So when do you think we should start this journey? Childhood? Maybe early, earlier than that. Before childhood, what do we have before childhood? Pregnancy? Maybe a bit before. Marriage? Before. <laughs> you know when do you start? The moment you start looking for a life partner, you started preparing the adults for tomorrow. Because your future husband, your future wife, will be the parent of your future kids. They will help you raise them, educate them correctly. So it's on that moment that you will start this whole journey, whole process. So let's go on this journey together. Now you got married, you have kids, alaikum. Now, what do you expect from them? If, instead of praising them, supporting them, encouraging them, in every single little tiny accomplishment they do, instead of that, you keep calling them loser, donkey, your donkey, you don't understand anything. Instead of educating them and teaching them good manners, you teach them how to cheat. I want you to get better marks than your cousin. I don't care how you will do that. Even if you want to cheat, go and cheat. The most important thing is that you have good marks, better marks than your cousin. What do you expect of them if you teach them how to lie perfectly? Go and tell them mom is not here. What do you expect of them? What do you expect of them? To be ready and healthy adults, healthy physically and mainly psychologically adults, to make tomorrow a better place? What do you expect of them? What do you expect of them? To be ready? What do you expect of them if instead of being a good example, you are a real bad example to your kids? You, you don't respect their mom, you beat her in front of them, you do real bad stuff in front of them, you cheat in front of them, you lie in front of them, you watch porn in front of them. What do you expect of them? To be ready to make tomorrow a better place? Your kids will grow and they will be teenagers. And a teenager 
lives a real, severe identity crisis. Do you remember Britney Spears? Who knows Britney Spears? One of her uh, cute songs is, I'm not a girl, not yet a woman, and all I need is time, and stuff like that. She's talking about teenagers, because teenagers are not kids anymore, but they're not adults yet, so they are really struggling in this crisis identity. And during this period, they are ready to do anything, just to say, I'm here, I exist, I'm an adult, even if these things can be really silly and really dangerous. So instead of holding them, containing them, helping them, you avoid them, you neglect them, you treat them as bad guys, loutish, bad-mannered, voyou, anything you want. What do you expect from them? Another question, who is responsible of preparing the adults of tomorrow? Just the parents? I know mainly the parents, but just the parents? The teachers, yes, the teachers. The whole society, the neighbors, the big family, the fathers, the mothers, of course, the brothers and the sisters, the aunties and the uncles, the cousins, the friends, the neighbors, the media, the media, even the supermarket guy, even the supermarket guy helps you prepare your kids to be the adults of tomorrow, especially when it comes to teenagers. The influence of parents becomes um, less than the influence of the friends, the influence of school, the influence of media. So talking about media, what do you expect of our teenagers if we just keep broadcasting rubbish and entertainment just for entertainment with no positive message within? What do you expect of them? Or if we just keep broadcasting, uh, well, helps them get more and more deeply in the relationship the relationship with the girlfriend and the boyfriend, and that's it. With no vision for the future, no message, anything. What do we expect of them? To be ready, to be healthy, to make tomorrow a better place? What do you expect from them? Will they be ready? Talking about the IT and Facebook and this um, cool stuff. Does it help? teenagers and kids be ready adults for tomorrow. Does it help? Especially that we were talking yesterday about Al Mazra Al Saida and Candy Crush and does it help teenagers be healthy adults and make tomorrow a better place? Does it help? Does Facebook help in general? It depends on the person, yes. Sometimes it helps, yes. And sometimes not. And why do you think sometimes it doesn't help? Because teenagers need to be guided. Need to be guided. They need to be guided. They need someone to tell them, look, this site is really interesting. This application is really interesting. This application is a real waste of time. Get over it. Don't pay attention to it. They need to be guided by their parents, by their kids, by, no, oh, kids, yeah, for sure kids, by their big family, and by the friends, and even, as I told you, by the supermarket guy. Why do you think everyone is involved? Because life is a mirror. What you give, you will get it back. You give positivity, you will get positivity. You give negative things, you will get back negative things. You help others make their kids ready to be the adults of tomorrow, you will get a million people to help you make your own kids be ready to make tomorrow a better place. So, if we go back to all what have been said, when you hear TEDx Wergla says, غداً يبدأ اليوم Tomorrow, starts today. Is that true, that tomorrow starts today? Of course, we said that the key for a better tomorrow is humans. We said that 
this process of preparing the adults of tomorrow starts very, very, very early. We say that life is a mirror. We are all involved to help all the kids all around the world to be better adults and healthy adults physically and psychologically to make tomorrow a better place. So, after all that have been said, do you think tomorrow starts today? Tomorrow starts today? Yes? Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Earlier. Earlier. Okay, actually, tomorrow, tomorrow does not start today. It doesn't. Tomorrow starts now. It starts here and now. Thank you so much.